no meaning what's going on. But yeah, no, it's just me trying to grasp that idea has been very difficult and it's really hitting me. So last week I was just not in the greatest moods. I had to keep myself distracted and my sleeping pattern was affected. I was sleeping at weird times. But mostly I've been crashing at 6, 7 p.m. because I'm not getting enough sleep and waking up really early in the morning. So in, 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 a, in, in a sense, it's not too bad. My sleeping isn't bizarre where I'm sleeping at 4 a.m. anymore. So yeah, I guess that's a good thing. But yeah, my mood's been pretty like, like, like it's plummeted. Um, at work, it's not as noticeable because I'm so distracted because I have so many things going on at work that I'm very distracted. It's at, when at home, it's just more apparent and noticeable so it just hits me more i did a lot of reorganizing in my apartment i'll probably show you guys i did have it in the last week's vlog but that's all i had so i'll show you that within the week what i did made some changes around the apartment because when i'm down and not in the best of moods cleaning and organizing really helps me because it's distraction so that definitely helped me so i'll show you what i did i did make some changes i am feeling a little better this week i'm not feeling as down so things are looking better I think I'm getting used to the idea, maybe, but I'm gonna need some time. So if my energy seems really low for the vlogs for the next two weeks, I apologize. But basically, I don't want to share. I share a lot on the internet, but I don't want to share this because you know it's not a sad thing. It is sad, but it's it's not like traumatic. It's hard to explain. Anyway, hopefully this week will go better. Sorry for missing two weeks, but majority of people that do watch my vlogs know what's going on anyway. Anyway. To, this week, not much is too much is going on. The weather is getting really, really hot, so that's gonna be fun. I might have to move my air conditioner out of the area and put it near the door and get it ready for use. Um, tomorrow, early morning meeting, everyone's gonna be there, so it's really exciting. <laughs> it's a Rizal's first uh, manager meeting, and usually we don't have everyone there, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think I'm gonna bring breakfast tomorrow. I'll probably order McDonald's. Hopefully I can wake up in time. If not, I'll just order Starbucks or one. Easy peasy. And then there's a big staff meeting at the end of the week. So a lot of work stuff. So I'm gonna be pretty distracted this week. I just came home from work, but then I quickly decided. I just came home from work. I just want to quickly show you guys this because I had to turn this light on and it creates a lot of heat. <laughs> Basically, the last two weeks I did reorganize my bookshelves a little bit, primarily my left one here. Uh, if you've noticed, I split up my um, K dramas up and I moved up all my K pop albums a bit because I used to have like my keys, I have like a bin here full of sanitizing, masks and all that stuff, but I don't really need that anymore. So I put it somewhere else. I put my keys in my wallet. I'm putting maybe somewhere on top of my fireplace. I just probably have to get like a little basket or something. I'll think of something. I was gonna get one at Muji, but they're really expensive. So maybe next week when I go to Ikea or something, or the dollar store, I'll find like a little basket and the cute thing and then put them in. But yeah, I decided to split the K-drama stuff up because I'm more K-drama oriented than K-pop. Because I'm, cause I started collecting K-pop, but I'm very specific at what I collect, right? It's BTS, GOT7, basically people that are in K-dramas. <laughs> BTS is an exception. Um, but I've also wanted to start collecting like uh, K-drama OST albums because they also come in beautiful boxes. Not as great as the, you know, K Korean drama box sets, but they're original soundtrack boxes are actually really nice too and they're a lot more affordable because you know how expensive these things get and I still want to collect them but I can't collect them fast because they're so expensive and getting them here is very expensive too so yeah so maybe eventually up here will be all like Korean drama OSTs while down here will be all the drama box sets but yeah anyway um it's getting pretty late it's only like 10 30 right now but I am falling asleep already because it's weird, my sleep pattern, I think I explained this. Even though I am sleeping early, I'm still waking up 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. So even if I sleep at night, I wake up at 5 a.m. So I'm not getting enough sleep. It's just, it's it's better. I'm feeling a little better. I'm not as anxious or like sad about what happened. But, you know, things get better. I just need the time. 
Uh, I'm probably not going to eat anything because I'm not hungry. I'm more tired than hungry. I might have like a little dessert because I did buy some popsicles yesterday because I'm five. I completely got cut off last <laughs> night mid-sentence. Sorry about that, guys. The battery died. <laughs> I was going to vlog a bit, but then my battery died. The um, battery life on my camera is not the greatest, which is fine. But the problem I'm having is that the indicator telling me the battery is running out is poorly designed. I says I have two bars left when I started vlogging yesterday. So why would it suddenly die on me, right? So that's why I don't like about this camera. Is the only thing I don't like about the camera is the fact that the battery indicator is completely incorrect. I can't trust it. So if it's two bars, I have to assume it's dying soon. <laughs> so that's why I don't like this camera. I've been warned by reading different um, reviews that the camera is not the best, and it does run out of charge pretty fast, especially for vlogging. So yeah, fun times. <laughs> I am home now. I'm not gonna show my face because I just showered and I look like poop and I don't have my glasses on so I can't see if I'm in focus when I aim it to myself so we're gonna skip that. Anyway, I'm just getting ready for bed. Um, work was great today. I didn't get my Sunday off like I usually do. I had the meeting. Technically I could have but I didn't want to lose a day off. Like so basically what I could have done was I go in for my uh, big staff meeting for two hours and then I work only two hours less on a Monday or something and then I have a one day off on Wednesday so I didn't want that so that's why I'm like you know what I'll work five days in a row and I get my two days off in a row so that's a pretty good deal um what else the meeting was really good and then after the meeting was done we went to get ice cream at Milk Cow and then <laughs> Ina, Eric, and myself were hungry because we didn't eat dinner yet so we went to Kokoro to get some fried chicken and some side dishes was really good it was really spontaneous we were like mm. but it was really nice because we were able to do some girl talk and you know you know it was really good it's been a while since we had a little bit of girl talk so it was really good and then yeah the meeting went very well better than expected um a lot of information was passed but it was good everything was went smoothly uh, took some really good photos i posted on instagram um, one of them was very cute, I really like it, even though Tejon was like, <laughs> like, looking like angry in it, it was this one here, I don't have to focus, well guys, come on, you're getting there, do I need to tap the screen, is that how it's gonna work, there we go, so Tejon looks really mad in it, oh dang, there yeah. So, yeah, well, it's a really cute photo. <laughs> I love it a lot. Anyway, I'm just watching some random YouTube right now. I just finished watching the two new episodes of Alchemy of Souls, and I love it. I love it. It's good, but, yeah. I'm just watching some back-behind-the-scenes stuff, but, yeah. I'm probably going to go to sleep soon because I am falling asleep. And plus, I have to wake up at 7 a.m. for my 8 a.m. tomorrow, which is amazing. You all know what that is. But, yeah. But I'll probably end the week here, and finally, we have a vlog, right? <laughs> I'm tired. Anyway, long day tomorrow, so I'm gonna get to bed. So I'm guessing I'll end the week here without seeing my face. See my beautiful bedroom instead. But yeah, I'll see you all next week.